Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to show you an experiment. It's still a little experimental, but what I want you guys to do is kind of learn the technique that I did and then I want y'all to experiment with it, make it better, come back to the comments, tell me how you did it, and show me a link of how to do it. I want to learn, I want us to learn together, and let's do this. So the first thing I did was try to find photos that had, looked like it could be cut into like three sections. Um, that's what I was trying to go for. So when I did, I saw this mountain one here, even though it's a very long, like wide photo. What I just did was I set that to my background and then I used the background remover and took out the three sections here. So I took out this one and made that an individual section. I took out the mountains and did the individual section. And then I did the upper, I did the clouds as an individual section. So what I wound up getting after I removed the background to all those, let me go into my uploads real quick. Uh, let's go find our little pieces. We go through here. So I wound up with this. I wound up with this, which is my mountains. And I wound up with this as my grass. So I use the outside background remover because I, I use the free version. So you can do this in Canva if you have your background remover. If not, then what you want to do is go and find your personal background remover you use outside of Canva and do some good old fashioned background remover. So the next thing I did was try to put my picture back together. So what I want to do is line it up as good as possible to make it look like a solid picture again. As close as possible as I can. Hey, where did my other picture go? Where did you go? Oh, you know what? Good old Canva. Gotta love it. Always the picture snaps back. I hate when it does that. I don't like, it's the one thing that I don't like in Canva. So if you ever see me a lot of times when I'm working with pictures, because if y'all know a workaround for this, please let me know because it's, it's just, ugh. I'm just saying ugh all the time when it comes to this, that the photo will snap in, will snap to the background and it, see it snapped to the background. I just, I don't want it snapped to the background. I need to, I need to manipulate it. So if you ever see me do stuff, a lot of times I will do it on the outside edge like this and either add a color that'll go with it and make it look like a frame on the outside. It just keeps it from snapping and I don't have to mess with that. Plus we're kind of manipulating this a little bit. So it's, it doesn't wind up being too terrible, but it's just such a pain. I don't know. It's my pain. People have given me tricks. Sometimes they work. Um, if you're finishing up a picture, the only trick that I've ever really known that works is like, say you're right here and then go into your next slide or your next page and leave it there and don't ever touch it again and then download it. It won't snap. But as soon as you like click here, it'll snap to the background and then it's just like, oh, why? All right. That's my little rant on the background snapping. I wish it was an option. See, like if you put it full and then it'd be like an option here. Oh, set it as background. Yes, it, it's always an option. It's not automatic. But, you know, I've told Canva this and they were like, oh, let's see. But it, but, yeah, they just, come on now. Okay. Sorry for ranting, y'all. Sometimes you just, you know, you feel frustrated. So I'm going to try to line that up to kind of make it look like it goes right there. Let's go up and then we're going to fill that in and then we're going to go over like that. So now it looks like a whole picture again. So what I wanted to do now is I want to duplicate the page. We can get rid of this first one because it's the whole picture. 
let's delete this one. And then what we're going to do is duplicate this one. So if you want to, you can over exaggerate it like I did the other one. You can like, uh, but we'll just go for the regular looking picture first. Um, so I duplicated this page. So what I wanted to do is now I want it all to move upward. So I'm going to go up with each one. And see, I got room down here. So I can take it all the way off if I want to. I can leave it a little bit at the top if I want to. But I just want to position. Let me grab a hold of that middle one. The middle one, please. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to take that middle one. And I'm going to go up all the way up here. Like so. And then because that's a hard edge. I can't take that completely off the page because if I do, it'll just disappear. So what I want to do here is move that one up and I'm going to keep just a little bit of a line. And if you want to hide it, you can put like a, like a square or something up here, the same as the, whatever color you're going to use in the background. So the next part that you want to do is you want to go in here and use your match and move transition. You want to take your seconds as high as you can go because you want it to go slow. So now that we have that in there, what we're going to do is we're going to look and we're going to take that picture and it's going to fold up and it's going to move like that. So what I want to do here, because if you see where it's going here, you see my mountains are going behind there. So what we want to do to change that is what I want to do is I want to go into position and I want to make sure that everything is lined up like it should be. So you want the top. Let's move this down here and let's make sure it's that way in this one too. So let's do that way. And now let's see. Well, Mashugna. I don't know what that word means. If that's bad, I'm sorry. Um, so let's see. I don't want my mountains. Let's move. Oh, okay. Let's do this. I want this in the back. And I want my mountains, that, and then I want that on top. So we're going to go from top to bottom. So let's try that way and see what it looks like. There we go. That's what I want. So that's how you do that to fold. And then if you want it to fold back down, the easiest thing to do is you're going to duplicate the first page. And then what you're going to do is, is take that and just go it and put it behind the other page that folded. So now it should fold up and fold back down. Oh, no. Why are you not doing it the second time? See, we're still experimenting. The home, oh, we, we need to match and move it. Match and move. Okay, see? We didn't match and move. So up. Let's look. Let's look. And down. Da -da -da -da. And what I did with the uh, one of the other ones is because I had done another picture. I would go to my uploads. So I like took this part out. Let's go into position and highlight that one. And what I wanted to do something different. I took from one of the other pictures I tried. So I kind of like this. So I kind of stuck a tree in there instead. So I made that big enough where it kind of covers some of the stuff. And I shortened the picture up a little bit. And then I took the position over here. I took this and I kind of, I stepped it. So what I did here is I did that like so. And then I took the top one and then I went in like so with the top one. So it almost looked like a step. We need to go smaller on this one. So now it's like a step, kind of looking more kind of 3D-ish there. So that's the first one, and hold on, I don't like what's here on the bottom. What's that one with the stuff hanging off? That would be the middle one. So what I'm going to do with the middle one here is I'm going to drag that up so you can't see the the tree, the, the bottom where the grass would fit in. So now I have this photo that looks like this. So then I want to duplicate this page. I want to go and duplicate this page. That I got with the tree. 
Oh, oops, I put it up here. All right, so let's get rid of these because we already did these. Let's delete these. Delete. 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 So now I want to duplicate this one. And then, then you're going to go and move them however you want to. So, like I said, you want top, middle, and that to go. So we're just moving moving them on up. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm sure that hurt. Have a tickle. And then we're going to move this up. And because this has got a hard edge, I don't, I don't, well, I don't have uh, that extra space. Well, I do kind of, I kind of could kind of do that to pull it off, all the way off. And then when I do the hard edge of my tree, like so. And then what we're going to do is make sure our match and move is pretty good down here. It should held the one we were using before. And then what you want to do is we're going to press play and see what happens here. Oh no, why did my middle one not move? So see, I make mistakes in here. So what I want to do when I do my middle. So, uh, did my middle snap? All right, so let's look. Position. No, my middle has not snapped. So let's grab that, move it around and see what happens here. Is it because I manipulated it? Let's see. See, you're going to see my errors to see if you have the same problem. That's what I like to do when I do tutorials because see how that's not moving and that's fading out. So why did that do that? So let's, maybe it's because I took the bottom of, of it off. So let's delete that page and then let's try to redo this. So we're going to duplicate the page again. So let's, we're going to go here. We're going to move that one up and off. So this time, let's not... We're going to do the middle one. Let's not take that bottom piece off because maybe that was what the problem was. I swear I've done it before when I tried this and it was fine. But with that, let's, let's move this up and let's see if that makes the difference. And then what you can also do too is you can just get the elements here. I'm going to get like a square. Make it white. Go here. Go up here. Voila, it's gone. All right, so let's try again and see if they all move. There it goes. It goes up. So maybe that was the problem. So, and then I will duplicate this page. And then I will bring this page over behind this one. And then I have your, then now you have your up and down. So you go up. And you come down. And then the, the other one I did instead of, um, like in this part, I had them go. Um, let's see, position so I can grab these things. Um, I think that one was off to the side, like over here. And this one came down over here and this one was was this one my top one over here something like that and then we tried that and you kind of have it Something like that. So you can play around with it. And I want you guys to play around with it. Like I said, um, please, if you create something and have a link to it on like Facebook or Instagram or something, please put it in the comments um, so I can see that and see what it and ask you questions on how you did it. Because like I said, I want us to kind of grow and learn. And this is kind of still experimental, but I kind of wanted to get it out there because I want more. I want more people thinking about it and what we can do with this kind of effect. So I love you guys. Please help me out. Let's work on this together and have a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to seeing your comments down there. So until next time, 